we explain, the Schrodinger's cat experiment. Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment devised by Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger in 1935. It illustrates what he saw as the problem of the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, as applied to everyday objects. So, what was the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics? The Copenhagen theory says that a quantum system, such as an atom, can exist as a combination of multiple states corresponding to different possible outcomes. A quantum system remained in this superposition until it interacted with, or was observed by, the external world. Only then does the superposition collapse into one or another of the possible definite states. In response, Schrodinger did an experiment. It was a thought experiment. The experiment poses the question, when does a quantum system stop existing as a superposition of states and become one or the other? Schrodinger intended the experiment as a critique of the Copenhagen interpretation. His example was to illustrate the absurdity of the existing view of quantum mechanics. So, what exactly was Schrodinger's thought experiment? Schrodinger used a box containing a cat and poison in his thought experiment. The Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics implies that the cat is simultaneously alive and dead. Yet, when one looks in the box, one sees the cat either alive or dead, not both alive and dead. This poses the question of when exactly quantum superposition ends and reality collapses into one possibility or the other. In Schrodinger's thought experiment the following are placed in the sealed box. A cat, a flask of poison, an internal monitor like a Geiger counter, that detects radioactivity, a hammer, and a radioactive source. A chain reaction may occur. Let's explain. If the Geiger counter detects radioactivity, the flask is shattered. Therefore the poison is released, which will kill the cat. If no radioactivity is detected, the flask is not shattered. Therefore the poison is not released which mean the cat is not killed. According to the Copenhagen interpretation the cat is in a state known as a quantum superposition, as a result of being linked to a random subatomic event that may or may not occur. The Copenhagen interpretation implies that the cat remains both alive and dead until its state has been observed. Schrodinger intended the example to illustrate that in the Copenhagen view of quantum mechanics the cat may actually be, simultaneously, both alive and dead, which is an absurd representation of reality. Since 1935 Schrodinger's thought experiment is often featured in theoretical discussions of the interpretations of quantum mechanics. The Schrodinger's cat thought experiment remains a defining touchstone for modern interpretations of quantum mechanics. <laughs>